Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with a shaped gift card share. Quick tutorial of how to put together that shaped card, okay? Using an awesome coffee die set from My Creative Time. Let's get started. So here is the envelope. This is an option of how you can present that gift card to a friend or loved one. So I have my little hot pink envelope right after valentine's why not continue the love of the hot pink they slide it out and here is the shaped gift card love and you flip it up and look even more going on and here's the gift card so the die comes with that pocket and we'll talk about the options with it if you look at the examples at my creative time that slit is right there, so you could put the gift card in the front, but I decided that I wanted it on the inside as a surprise for the recipient. Now let's talk about the supplies that I use to make this awesome shaped coffee gift card set. Ooh, love. And if I sound horrific, yes, I still have my cold, plus my allergies decided to act up today too. So just pardon how I sound. Lots of goodies here to show you how to make this card and add all the goodies and even the interactive element. Alrighty, let's talk about the supplies that I used. First item is the coffee gift card holder die set. Love, there it is. And as you can see, it does fit in an A2 envelope, okay? Let me give you a measurement on that coffee. You're looking at five inches tall by almost four inches wide, okay? And these are all the pieces to create that gift card and then you can decorate it any theme you wish which is great with this one it's birthday a with spring colors even though i have the hot pink coming right off of valentine's but i made it work <laughs> so play with this set okay and you can layer up as much as you want and you can also back it off as well and there's also a little heart too i decided not to use a heart and i went this floral way instead so this is awesome plus this little die set is specially marked already so it's on sale in the my creative time website thumbs up so definitely add that to your stash if you've been wanting something like that next the paper pack i use the fun valentine's paper pack you guys have been seeing this from me so much i use that particular sheet great for like all year round crafting even birthday cards right Next, I use these two sets. They kind of go hand in hand and have a great price point as well. We have the small flower dies. There are 10 dies within this set. What is really nice about it as well, you have the floral plus the center and it's attached. So each size flower has its own little center attached if you wish to use. You could also use a gem. I actually did cardstock with a pearl on the top in different colors. So you can definitely have fun playing with this set. Different size florals. The largest one is a little bit over one inch. Okay, cute. And to match that, I use the foliage dies. This one is an awesome little set because you get standard foliage like that. Or you get this sort of a flourish foliage vine, which I think works so well right here to create that look in the corner, that little cluster with the sentiment. Okay. So foliage dies, small flower dies. Win-win. For the sentiments and the little cupcake on the inside. Or you could call it ice cream again. <laughs> Last time it was the die, now it's the stamp. This is the Celebrate You stamp. And it has, I believe it comes with this coordinating die. I'm going to double check. I'll put it here on the screen because I had purchased this a while back. So I'm not sure if they come separate. I'll put it here if it's a bundle. This is it stamped out as you could do it by itself or you could put a little face on it reminiscent of something like doodlebug which i love that's the little face so i decided to go ahead and make it really fun and friendly so here's my little stamp cupcake ice cream there is the candle and then on the outside i used today is all about you make it a good one this is a great set because it has Different fonts, as you can see, even just a standard happy birthday, small happy birthday. These can go into little tags. That can still go on a tag. And then more bold sentiments. So you could stamp both on the outside and the inside. And also, for folks like me who remember your birthday, but sometimes the card arrives a little late. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday again. So that's really sweet, just in case, you know. Never ever know that you may need that little happy belated 
and then there's the little die and you also get the little candle and this is celebrate you okay i'm going to keep that little extra one in and there here i had heat embossed it with white embossing powder on black 110 pound cardstock this whole thing is super durable it's all like 110 pound cardstock okay <laughs> wanted to just show you real quick because on the last video you guys saw the ice cream die set which is like the big brother to the stamp set here so you could use these together if you wish. I forgot to mention in that last video, this has a fantastic price point. This little set here, the ice cream die set. So you may want to add that to your cart next time you shop at My Creative Time. And this one, great. Just the font and the sentiments. Love. And then this image here, super easy to color. As you can see, I kept it in these bright pinks to match the pink out here. Cute, cute. And I did like, this one is like a chocolate frosting, could be ice cream, whichever. It's just cute and happy. <laughs> From the last release, you guys saw this. This is the cookie cutter dies that coordinates with the fun Valentine's paper pack. Well, there is now the stamps and the stamps were available in store, but I did not get my stamps. This coffee card die set, that was part of my recent order. So then Emma sent me the stamps to go with this set so I can show you guys and play with it. The coordinating dies then would be pretty much is this, right? But you don't get dies to cut out the sentiments, but that sentiment, Happy birthday, sweet friend. You're seeing it here without even using the gingerbread, okay? So you can really play within this set. And then look at the font. I love the hearts. We have nothing says love like good cookies, a little treat for someone sweet. That's fabulous. I was thinking about using this in here too. And happy Valentine's Day. So cute. I just wanted to show you what the stamp sets look like. And they are high quality photopolymer stamps, okay? But I did use that sentiment. So that is everything. Here's a standard sheet of paper. Eight and a half inch by 11. You can cut it in half. I'm going to eyeball it. That's around five and a half inches, okay? So at five and a half inch, when you cut your eight and a half sheet on the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, you get two panels. If you split that panel in half, half of eight and a half inch wide is four and a quarter. So by just using one sheet of eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you get the option to make two of these shaped cards, okay? So you can definitely maximize one sheet of paper to make some of these adorable themed gift cards. But at least you know that out of one sheet of paper, you can get two of these shaped cards to fit into an A2 envelope, okay? This piece is the main player. What I did before, I had cut two panels and then I scored down the middle, I eyeballed it. So it's not exactly straight. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make it perfect if you wanna be perfect, okay? You could take your four and a quarter by 11 sheet of paper, fold it in half and do it like this and cut it as a shaped card. But because I am using 110 pound cardstock and if you're like me, you want to use 110 pound cardstock because see, she's standing up. I would not do the shaped card this way where you have that and then you get that natural bend in it. I would do it as two separate pieces because this is now 220. And with the die and the machine, it's just a lot of pressure all the way around. Just go one panel each and then get out your scoreboard. Okay, so let's quickly do that. Okay, crafter. So here is my die cut machine. I'm using the Spellbinders Platinum 6. Before I cut one of the panels, I'm going to quickly take a scoreboard. And I have a new scoreboard. I'm loving it. This is that black Alton new scoreboard. Oh, she is good. Okay, she goes all the way down to eight and a half inch too. So let me score on one of the panels. I did half an inch. So you could do half inch here. Sometimes I like to do it out on this end, okay? Because I know it's five and a half, so I know it's five inches right here. Okay, I don't have to fold it. I can just line it up. We score one panel at half inch. You can also do three eighths of an inch. I wouldn't go any lower. There's that score line. Place the die right there. So this is the top part that will fold. You see it? So now you can really eyeball it. I have mine like this because I kind of scored it afterwards with that shape. Here you can line it up perfectly and then go ahead. Still finishing up my purple tape. So let me use a piece of purple tape here. All right. I'm going to 
go ahead and send it on through my die cut machine. Oh, let me go at an angle. Turn. <laughs> Less pressure all the way around, okay? Alrighty. So that piece came through. Then now you cut the second one just like a standard. So you can use this die set, two dimensional, meaning just one layer. If you wanna use it on top of a card base, or if you wanna use it for, this is another one that's great for, again, scrapbooking and mini albums. You could probably turn this die too into a shaped mini album. It is large enough to work that way as well. Put my sandwich together and run it on through. So this one does not have a score line, okay? This is your top die. And there we go. Die cutting done. And it popped right out. Okay, crafters. So what you're going to end up with is two pieces. One without the score line and one with the score line. Right here. Let me go ahead and train it. And what I mean by that is fold on that score line just to crease the score line. Use a Teflon bone folder if you wish. Like so. Like so. I'm gonna keep it laid out like this, and I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue here in that top quadrant, like so. Ooh, good thing with this glass craft mat, I can clean up all that glue with some isopropyl alcohol. I do that. Then I can just layer one piece on top of the other, and there we go. And this now is your shaped card. You can put a little acrylic block on it if you want it to dry for a minute. You can use double-sided adhesive, but this is what you're looking for, like that, okay? <laughs> okay, crafters, I had to clean the glue off. It was driving me crazy. All right, so you're going to end up with the shaped card like this. Then you can decorate. Before you put in the pocket here, that can take the gift card. I did watch a video by Emma, and she suggested working on the top first, which would be, this is a topper. That is the oval right there, and that little piece is the little slit that we sip through with the cover on in real life. <laughs> she said to go ahead and put on your top piece. You can decorate it whichever way you want, like so. And I also did cut out that little slit there. You preferably use it in a darker color because it is a little hole like that, okay? Then after you have this piece, then you can measure where this goes. So you don't put it up too high. I would put it about like so, you see? Assemble the top of the coffee cup first and then put in that part. To also know where to put the adhesive for the slit, you could put the gift card in. I did it as double-sided tape. So I did double side tape, double side tape, one eighth of an inch double side tape and some more double side tape. Or if you're gonna use glue perimeter, Go very light here, because you don't want to glue this down too much. That's your thinnest point, okay? And then continue, glue, glue, glue. And you don't want to seal it, so no glue in this. That's why it's best to probably do it with the gift card on. Slide out the gift card, and then go ahead and attach your piece. So you could do your card with that slit on the outside, decorated like so, and give it as a gift. Or you could put the pocket on the inside like I did here. With this one, it would be the same principle. Flip it open, see how it is straight? And then you could still put this on the inside here. So you could surprise the recipient either way. You could put it on the back too if you want. At least in here, I know it's snug on the inside. So this is the die set. But here is something else. Right here, a little cup holder. So you can put that belly here. But what I noticed when I was making this plain example with that. I realized this same thing could be here like a label too. Yeah. <laughs> so you could cut another oval and put it here as a label. Even though it matches that, nobody's going to really look at it because you're going to put a sentiment there, etc. Or flowers or whatever, if you want to. I just noticed that that could work as well. So cute. So, so many options to play with this fantastic set, which is on sale love 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 alrighty crafters everything that I showed you will be detailed and linked below 
Speaking of linking, last video that I showed you with my Creative Time products, a viewer had commented that the links weren't working. I was on the road, so when I saw that, I raced home and then I tested every single link. I just wanted to say one thing. When it comes to links and all that, if you go through your phone or if you have like, let's say you have put up some sort of firewall thing, that might not cause these things to work. I know when I'm creating links and working on my videos and editing, it's all done on a laptop. So when I got home and I went on the laptop, I clicked open every single link to the My Creative Time store from the last video just to make sure that everything was working. And I kept on being sent to the page of this, to the page of that item, to the page, etc. To that viewer, don't use your phone if you're doing it or your iPad. Go on a laptop or if you have any sort of firewall or you didn't accept cookies, etc. Maybe that might have caused everything to block. Okay, but the links were working. Glad it was still working. <laughs> I was worried about that. I just wanted to point that out. If you ever notice that the links don't work, then go on a computer and go from there or check your firewall, etc. Okay, alrighty, crafters. I hope you like how I did my little florals and the little centers in different spring colors. Although I was still feeling slight Valentine's with the black and pink. But I still think it works great as a birthday card because I have a little cupcake here or ice cream. <laughs> Either one. Put a little candle and that happy birthday sweet friend. And still have the little Starbucks gift card in here. And I use the same principle like on the outside with the perimeter. Okay. This is a great little gift, especially if you give a lot of these coffee gift cards. Okay. Until the next video. Bye.